Hello guys, welcome to Daddy Share Space. I'm coming to you with another short video and this is another drill bit comparison. I have a set of Bosch self-centering drill bits. These came in a set. They are currently like $22 on Amazon. They have the quarter inch shaft and here I have the five millimeter Festool version of that same drill bit. Now this particular drill bit is $97 currently on Amazon. So as you see, you can get three options here for $22 in the quarter inch shank, or you can use the Festool Central Tech version, which is $97. So, you know, obviously if you're on a budget, you're gonna go with the option here on my right which gives you multiple sizes and also significantly cheaper price. So just giving these a shot here, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up here. Now these would be good for like if you're putting on hinges or something like that, it, this mechanism on the tip, it actually retracts back so that you can actually center your hole in the middle of the hinge or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna give this a little shot here. and you've got your five millimeter hole right here. And actually, let me do it on this other side where I don't have any holes. So you're just gonna go ahead and drill. And there's your five millimeter hole. Contrarily for obviously a quarter of the price, you get three bits, which are quarter inch. That's the first size. That's your next size there. Here we go. I almost thought I broke the bit off, but I didn't luckily. And so as you can see there, those are your three different sizes for the actual countersink bit. So in this video, basically I'm just kind of showing the different options that you have for countersink. Obviously, if you're in the Festool system and you really want to stay within the Festool system, you got to pay a premium. You'll be paying that $97 for this five millimeter bit, which is a nice size bit for this. You could actually use this to drill out your shelf pin holes if you wanted to with a jig or something like that. And then this one here, as I said, you can use for for like hinges and, and the like. It's up to you what you would actually want to pay. Both of them have an actual Allen screw on the side so that they are adjustable in regards to the depth of the bit. So we'll take a look at that there. The Festool one, it's, it's nice looking. It, I mean, it's, a, it's actually a prettier piece of kit by comparison to these darker versions here that are, you know, just you know, seem like basic metal here. Whereas this one's got the chrome finish. So anyways, guys, very short video. Just wanted to kind of uh, present these Festool countersink bits that I picked up and just, you know, share my experiences in regards to price so that you kind of have an idea of, you know, like if you're going to go with the Festool drill, you want to stay in the Festool system, you know, it runs Central Tech. Now, obviously you can use the Jacobs Chuck which I have here, that's one of the benefits to the Festool system is you can actually remove the quick release chuck and you can put on the Jacobs chuck and then you can put whatever bit you want in there. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of the Jacobs chuck. It's okay to use and obviously you would use it if you're gonna have a rounded drill bit, but when you're talking about utilizing quick release, I you know tend to wanna go with the quick release, whether it be the Central Tech or whether it be a conventional quarter inch collet. So as I've picked up all of these Vestal drills, I've been wanting to utilize this particular platform with the quick release that has put me in a position where basically I have to think ahead in regards to which drill I'm going to reach for because obviously you know that would be the reason why well let me back up if I wanted to use a countersink bit if I want to stay in the Festool system you know this is my option if I want to you know if I'm going back and forth between let's say I want to use a conventional uh, Festool this is what a, this is a T30. If I wanted to go from using this T30 on my project and then switch over to this bit, then obviously that's a smoother transition than me having to actually, you know, go from say the T30 
to basically have me pull this off, take off the quick release, or I could actually leave this in here like this. And then I, you know, put on my chuck, and then I would go and put this on. Now that's something definitely that you could do, and obviously once I have it set, I can kind of set and forget it and, and you know, have that option. However, my preference would be to have a system where basically I've got my quick release here, I've got my Festool countersink in place, and whether I'm using you know two drills and having each one set up differently, or like this, or whether I want to use one drill and be able to quickly switch out, I prefer this over actually using the Jacobs Chuck. Anyways guys, thanks for taking time to watch the video. I'll see you in my next one.